I'm joined by Mr. Elliot Taylor, who is the new strength and conditioning coach here at Trinity Grammar School in 2020 after a tough battle against the first 15 uh, side from Cranbrook. We went down narrowly by three points in the end there, but it was a solid day all round. Mr. Taylor, thanks for joining us. No I'm going to kick off uh, asking about the football. I know that you've been working uh, with the footballers quite a bit over yeah. the holidays and throughout the year so far. Um, how was this morning? I heard that we got a result in the first and the seconds, but uh, from a fitness point of view, from an endurance point of view, they obviously had quite a bit of fuel in the tank and, and they did well there. Yeah, I mean, it's always tough when you have a shorter preseason. So with COVID lockdowns and isolations, we've had to be very mindful about how we're doing our preseasons. Uh, you have to tick a lot of boxes in a very short amount of time. So you always have to be happy when you physically look prepared for a game and you can last the full the full game. So I was very, very pleased with the boys. Um, today, football, the first and seconds were clinical. They did exactly what they needed to do um, and came off strong after a loss last weekend. So they did very well. Great to bounce back and Cranbrook uh, are a good side this year in the football as well. I think they got the win last week so it was good to see our footballers at home get the result in both the first and the seconds. Now moving to rugby, obviously you've put a lot of time and effort into that team right from when you started um, at the beginning of this year. You've come from the Parramatta Eels with rugby league experience and you know over that COVID period, over the holidays, we saw them out here you know, doing the Broncos, doing the runs disappointing loss but how have that team gone over the preseason and over the holidays um you know all the setbacks all the the difficulties i've had how have they gone from a strength and conditioning point of view um culturally rugby has always had a a, a strong snc base so i guess from that perspective it was a very easy team to work with um the boys have always put it in and worked hard from the get-go i'm sure they they hate me monday wednesday friday mornings but um you know, a day like today you can see when both teams are very physical and both teams are um, come to the game 100%, it's, it's going to be tough. So that team needs to be tough. So, um, you know, preseason, you always think goes well. You can have preseason goggles where I, I felt like we were flying and we were doing everything well. And I feel like physically we've held our end in the games, um, particularly impressed in the seconds. Um, you know, they're often going against much heavier pack sizes like last weekend, mm. and they're physically really holding up to that. And that's, that's exactly what you want from a team like that. Um, we are uh, normally a bit smaller than other schools, mm. um, particularly like Knox um, and some of those schools, the more powerhouses of the CAS rugby. Mm. Um, and we're, we seem to be physically holding up and that's, that's all I want. Now I want to focus on one of the stars of today's performance that we're going to try and have a chat to, Theo Kidd. <laughs> he's massive, he's been at Trinity since year six at the prep school. He made his debut for the first today with Asher Wilson going down last minute with uh, the thumb injury. Tell us a little bit about Theo, the work you've been doing with him, and how you think he performed today uh, on the field. Uh, Theo is a natural athlete, so unfortunately I can't take too much credit. Uh, Theo was most likely born that way, and then he also has uh, done a lot of hard work himself. Um, however, uh, me, the director's rugby, uh, Andrew Murphy, the director of track and field, have been, done a lot to manage his load because Theo is... Um, so athletic and so gifted in multiple sports, so basketball, track and field, and now rugby. Um, the challenge comes more managing about how many training sessions he's having a week, making sure he's getting in and doing his strength and conditioning, um, recovering, sleep, hydration, all that type of stuff. And Theo is very easy to work for. He's very determined. Um, he, you know, he does all the uh, the one percenters, and that's why he probably has been so successful. It's an amazing thing to be a dual first player and. First 15 rugby and first basketball, very diverse, two different sports. But what similarities do you see between those two sports and track and field and that overlap that has probably helped Theo, you know, become a, a great rugby player as well? Yeah, I mean, they're all sports that are strength and power based. Um, mm. So it's not like he's a cross country runner and then he's playing rugby as well, mm. which you can do, obviously. But um, the more sports you play that are strength and power based, so basketball, there's a lot of agility, change of direction track and field he's obviously very fast he sprints loads he does hurdles which means he needs a, lot, a strong vertical base um, so those two sports match really well and then when you combine those two together rugby is where it fits in so he's lucky in the three sports he's chosen they are both uh, they're all strength and power and he seems to uh, enjoy himself so kudos to him it's amazing. I think probably one of the finest athletes that we've seen come out of Trinity in the last few years. Just a question about your uh, career and moving to Trinity. How have you found it? Obviously coming from a rugby league club, very different culture, very different environment. How have you find that, found that adjustment coming in and taking on such a big role at a, at a school like Trinity uh, heading up the SNC? 
Yeah, I've loved it. I've loved every second of it. Um, when I worked at Paramount Eels in the academy, um, and you know, uh, working with under twenties down to under under thirteens, um, it's very result based. So wins and losses mean the world. Um, here, we're it's about the long term goal. It's actually about building a holistic program, making sure that we're building athletes, making sure that we're. Um, that when the boys leave school, they know how to follow a program. They're a little bit more athletic. They can squat, they can deadlift, they can sprint, they can do all the stuff that actually make people human. So it's it's a bit more holistic than it is in pro sport. It's been fantastic having you here, heading up the programs. We've got a strong, we've got a fit, we've got a physical team in rugby. We've got physical teams in football. You've done some work with basketballers, volleyballers. You've done plenty of stuff. So we do uh, appreciate all your work a lot. And we look forward to seeing that progression over the years as you work with those younger boys, how they develop and they'll certainly be a product of yours by the end of it. Thanks very much Thanks, for your time. Man. Appreciate it. Thanks, bud.